David Gilmour's guitar playing can be compared to a paintbrush. Just as a painter uses a paintbrush to create intricate and colorful masterpieces on a canvas, Gilmour uses his guitar to craft emotional and expressive melodies that paint a sonic landscape. Like a painter who chooses each stroke carefully, Gilmour selects each note with precision and intention, creating a rich tapestry of sound that is uniquely his own. Let's explore what any guitarist can learn from David Gilmour. Despite his unbelievable technique, Gilmore's playing is always in service of the song, never just a showcase of his own abilities. By learning to put the song first, you can create more memorable and effective solos. Speaking of memorable solos, let's listen to this one. Gilmore is known for his incredible sense of phrasing, which is the way he structures his solos and melodies to create a natural flow and sense of tension and release. Learning to use phrasing effectively can take your playing to the next level. Something magic comes out of bending little bits of wire. And... How do you do, is there any, uh, the bending, how do, how do you bend? You just push. The wire gets tighter, the pitch goes up. I um, mean, you do it absolutely all the time, a little bit, so that every note, you know, is you know, just the tiniest little things, which is what makes the guitar sort of so personal. That you can add a hundred different tiny inflections to, to what you're doing all the time. And that, I guess, is what gives people their individual tones. Now let's listen to something he does with his phrasing that we can all learn from. Gilmore is also known for his ability to make simple phrases sound incredibly powerful and emotional. Rather than relying on flashy techniques, Gilmore uses bends, vibrato, and sustain to convey emotion in his playing. This next one contains one of his signature sounds. Gilmour is a master of using effects to create unique sounds and textures. By studying the use of his effects, particularly like delay, but also reverb and chorus, you can also learn to use these tools to enhance your own playing as well. But effects are just the icing on the cake. The real sound underlying it all is his amazing tone, and here is one of my favorite examples of that. Gilmer's guitar tone is instantly recognizable and he's known for his use of vintage gear and careful attention to tone. By focusing on creating a great guitar tone, you can make your guitar playing sound more professional and polished. This next one is something that most guitarists don't do very well.
Gilmore is a master of using dynamics to create a sense of ebb and flow in his playing. By varying the volume, intensity, and attack of his playing, he creates a sense of drama and tension in his solos. And now for the one that really ties together what Gilmore does so well in his solos. It's something that we can all do better. Gilmore is known for his ability to create memorable and singable melodies in his solos and lead lines. By focusing on melody, you can create more memorable and emotional solos that stick in the listener's mind. That, in my opinion, is the most important thing any guitarist can learn from David Gilmore. If you're looking to learn from other guitarists, check out this playlist here. While I believe that the best way to improve one's playing is ultimately to focus on finding your own unique sound, it can also be very helpful to learn about things you like from other guitarists to move along the path even faster. 